Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel, man. The lens hood is dirty. We are in the Alfa Romeo 4C. Already here at Phil's, just waiting on Rick. Again, never really know what Porsche he's going to bring. I know he has a few, but lately it's been the GT3 RS, and I cannot complain. That thing is beautiful. Is it RS? Sorry if I'm wrong. Yeah, Phil's, Ambrosia of God, breakfast burrito, and then San Mateo. All right, I knew I heard something coming from around the corner. There he is. Yeah. Woo! That thing's sick. Oh yeah, RS. Four cheese. How's it going? What's up, dude? Yes, we both ordered separately and we got the same person at, at the, the same, same time. time. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Yeah, uh, that's cool. That's easy. Yeah, thank you, Phil. Breakfast burrito. Ambrosia of God. We made you into a fan, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at that. We're just here chilling at Phil's and this pulls up. Oh, dude, that's my favorite. All right, in our cars, time to hit the road. San Mateo, here we go. All right, here we are, San Mateo, a little bit early. Already see Doug down there. Yeah, yeah good parking spot right here. I'll show you guys why in a bit. Uh, Rick parked right next to this Porsche right here. Thought that was a great idea. And we got my 4C right here. As long as you get some sunshine, you'll get that pro pop. I gotta switch my microphone around. Got a McLaren coming in. Nice. Gotta come and say hi to Doug. It's been a while since we've seen him. We'll go check out his 2002 in a bit. Doug! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Those Doug's 2002. We hadn't seen it in a while. We were trying to remember when's the last time I had seen Doug. And it might have been beyond city limits ocean beach so that tells you a lot because those events aren't even going on but yeah hopefully he opens that up and we'll check out his interior but yeah doug has a bmw event to go to so we're not going to see him here for too long so i'm glad we were able to catch him because he comes up all the way from monterey or, or around that area so yeah always good to see doug out here i've been knowing him talking to him since before i started doing the youtube thing are oh, you gonna open it up? Yep. That's what I was hoping for. I was like, yeah, like hopefully, I'll open it up. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's what they want to see. No, those are the best wheels on the Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Serious business there. Always a good mix of cars here. There's even a Vespa. Woo. That truck sounds nice. I wonder if it's a manual transmission. Oh, yeah. Nice, pretty Vespa in there as well. And look at this truck. I think we've seen this mini truck here before where it has a GT. It's crazy because this is totally from my time. This style of bicycle. I actually used to ride GTs all the time and do tricks on them and get pretty hurt with them. Look at the speakers on that. Rockford Fosgate. A nice Chevy there. And we saw this McLaren roll in. We got something making noises over there. Another McLaren. I don't know what the McLarens, do they call it convertible spiders also? Try to find out from someone. And then, of course, our friends, GT, with the Pacific color. And another convertible, I don't know. Again, I don't know if we're calling them spiders in McLarens or if they're called something else. Nice E36 rolling in as well. We got someone setting up for some Hot Wheels. We'll see if maybe we can get something for our friend Jerry who is at work today. We'll give you a look at the front of the McLarens. These are freaking beautiful. I hear a lot of good things about McLaren as far as a brand. I'm not sure about reliability, but then again, any car you take care of should be all right. I think. You got the SS. Be a nice alternative to the LS. But if I'm trying to say gas, probably not. 992. Uh, Cayman. Cayman is something if I wanted to get back to getting a Porsche again. Although I should really get an electric Porsche. The GT, the AMG. I need to learn my GTs. Ah, GTC. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was cool. The plate says plates. A Chevy Nova. Again, I said it before. Nova. Which in Spanish almost sounds like Nova, which means doesn't go. Or backwards, it's Avon. So, yeah. It's just a little something from my childhood that we'd always crack jokes about to our neighbor who had a Nova. 996 with the hard top convertible. Ooh, really nice M5. Very clean. And that's, oh, one thing I didn't show you guys on Doug's says BMW Highway 1 and clever because yeah, he's right off Highway 1. We got a few nice Zs coming in as well. We'll check them out. There they are. Look at that. Got a yellow one and you got a white and blue one pulling up. Very nice. 
the Daytona. You guys have seen the Daytona out and about. We'll get you a better look around the side. Uh, I think our friend with the Supra is there as well. Look at that, very, very nice. Old school Firebird. The Firebird, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Rob, who might be here later on, uh, it was still talking about something like that. Or maybe he wasn't. <laughs> What's up, dude? How's it going? You made it out. <laughs> You're in the world. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, look, we got two Supras right next to each other. We got our friend's Supra right there. Uh, they said there was going to be a third one, but couldn't show up. So hopefully another one comes by. Just so we get a trio of Supras. And yeah, take a good look at it now because it may not look like this for long. A little insider information <laughs> on the Supra. There we go. Where did Rick go? Oh, we, oh hey! <laughs> we got our friend's car right there. <laughs> okay, right behind my car pulled up this, I think it's a Cadillac? And it has air suspension, so yeah, it dropped as soon as it parked. Loving the color on this, but look how huge this trunk is. It's humongous. Yeah, a lot of bodies. I mean, a lot of groceries that you could fit back there. And look at that interior. Love how that matches the exterior color as well. Oh, and look how there's no uh, B pillar. It's just all open, curved glass in the front. It's things you don't see anymore. And I'll give you a look at the front. Bonneville? Bonneville. Okay, someone help me out. This might not be something Jerry knows. Ooh, speaking of Porsche. Not that I was speaking about Porsche. In my head I was like speaking about Porsche. But something like this would be nice to replace the LS. We'll see. We got a pick em up truck coming in. Oh wow, that is clean. Loving the wheels on that, that sound. Oh yeah. We got a nice pink Z. Is this pink? What color would you call this? That, oh, it has heart headlights. Oh yeah, I like that. GT350, definitely a fan of these. I wanna check out the interior. Haven't seen the inside of a Mustang in a long time. To be honest with you, it was like a car rental. <laughs> this is the last time I saw the inside of a Mustang. Yeah, definitely nice. Beautiful wheels on that. Give you a look at the back. Yeah, I like Mustangs. A nice one here. We'll go check this out because when the hood is open that means there's something inside worth looking at and that definitely is worth oh. looking at orange mclaren really nice you guys follow instagram you might have seen what happened to an orange mclaren driver in san bruno who got robbed for his watch his orange cobra red cobra no cobra commander Ooh, love this audi r8 again i don't know if you call these spiders you know, convertibles like this the V10 is looking sweet. Go look at the interior on this. Ooh, that is clean looking. Love the quilted leather on there. Got a Boxster right next to another mid-engine Porsche, which is the 718. I got to drive actually both. I did have a chance to drive a 718 and a 981, and I had a 987, so I haven't driven a 986. So pretty much all the other mid-engine Porsches I've driven, and I know there's a bunch of different variants, but these two are really nice to drive. I believe this one's a four-cylinder, this one is a six-cylinder. Unless you get this one in a Spyder or a GT4, then you will get a six-cylinder. Uh, but it's turbocharged, and I liked it. Ooh, the sound of the Abarth. Ooh, that's a good sound. God, I love the sound of the Abarth. A nice C8. This is, I thought this might be Kevin, but it's not Kevin's C8. Or maybe it is. Let's see. Nope. No red interior. Yeah, this is not our friend Kevin. We've seen this Porsche before. Very nice livery. And the GT3 RS, just like our friend. Well, not, not the same year, but uh, GT3 RS nonetheless, just like Rick. And this one says Lizzie because it's probably a lizard green and Pikachu car, P car. Yeah, got another one here. Ooh, I love the size of those wheels. Amazing. The Caminos and Malibu with a Momo steering wheel, actually. There it is. That's nice. It has modern touches in there, like a screen, a couple screens, actually. And it got the Huracan. Looks like a Performante. And there's a doggy riding shotgun. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet. 
it looks like my back up here. Very nice. Another Huracan coming, also a Performante. I don't know if it's coincidence, but it's gonna be right next to the other Performante. That forged carbon fiber is sweet. Check this out. Uh, <laughs> hmm, it's a little sus. Funny thing about the Nova, it's funny, I met the, the owner, uh, Nick and we were talking about how like no von spanish doesn't go right and it turns out his play actually says no go that's funny right on nick thanks for talking to me about your car Let's see what else we haven't got on video just yet look what we have here a couple of new bmws i know the grill is controversial and from what i hear actually it looks good in person but what i was gonna say is from what i hear is this big grills are a thing in china so it's kind of catered to uh, the Chinese market, but this M3 Competition with the big grills, carbon fiber lip, and satin looks really nice. So this is the one next to it, yeah, in person. These things look really good, man. A couple of nice classics here. This thing's nice, the Corvair, the American supercar. Beautiful C7. This color here, it may look like a gray or a white. It's almost like a bluish gray, uh, which explains why there's little accents of blue love the c7 carbon z07 is what it says right there on the plate a little spider mr2 and m2 m2s are beautiful r32 jdm we got the z that we saw rolling in earlier and then we met this person here with the 986 boxer right next to that porsche we have another porsche not quite the same uh, same same but different we got that 918 spider Thing is so sick. We're on the back, show you that. Of course, yeah, it is e power along with gas as well. And carbon fiber wing. Thought we'd see a Montana plate, but no, no Montana plate. We got the one of one, and yeah, ever since he put on these wheel covers, I thought it gave it such a great look. Look at the power. Oh, yeah, not the Mini Cooper. Yeah, I have to send this to my uncle. This is actually my uncle's favorite car. If I ever had a chance to buy him one i would it's really nice check out the car again next to it that is beautiful as well here we are oh we'll show you the back i didn't realize the back was open the carmen gear beautiful nice wood up top oh we got shades too that's nice my ls 430 has shades yeah back to the mini I'll take a picture of this send it to my uncle got this rolling in the gentleman driving sipping on coffee it is cars and coffee i do have a little bit of fills left i should finish it up all right rolling in not quite hungry Spider Hungry Garage Erica, but nonetheless a 718 Spider. Not a paint to sample. We miss Erica. We haven't seen her in a while. It's also a German Shepherd. Ooh, Corvette sounding good over there. And look at this BMW slammed right behind it. What is that? You see a fish on the plate. A uh, Rambler. It's a Rambler. Oh yeah, this was, that's a nice color too. The LC 500, I really like that. Yeah, it's, a, it's see now that's a big grill that I yeah, like. Cool. Is that the that's, one on the LC 500? Cool. It is. It just goes with the car. Yeah, M5 rolling out, but look at that. Holy crap. Look at the little wheels in the front. You know what that's about. Wow, got the bag in the back too. Or, or the parachutes, I should say. And then the Mercedes. We got the Hummer. Pretty sure we spoke to this guy before. Multiple places, including Ocean Beach, Beyond City Limits, but look at that, all nice and open. Oh yeah, you can see the Beyond City Limits stickers there. Really cool. And yeah, you get a good look at it. If this is the gentleman I spoke to, there's a good chance we may not see this car in the Bay Area for too long. That's all I'll say about that. On our way to that car over there, we got the AMG C63. Mercedes-Benz always has really nice interior. It's very nice quilted quilted leather throughout. Ooh, more Porsches. I was just saying, I got so distracted by that, I didn't notice there was this thing over here. Ooh, there we go. Woo! <laughs> Woo, smells good. That was nice. Yeah, he's just moving his car for now, but definitely want to get the that sweet sound. Oh, I love that. All right. 
almost done here, I think. Alright, so we see something else. Right, everything looking really good. You got this one rolling out. Man, look at that white wheel tires. And that sound. Oh, there goes Rick. Oh, look at the wheels on that. Dude. Yeah, it's still <laughs> Dayton's. Rolling on Dayton's. Uh, Capri Classic. Uh, Damn, why? Oh, man. It, it even has the seats facing the back, too. Defender. All that, Huge. Like, bass music. We got the M2 crew coming in late. Oh, unfortunately, we're not going to see Erica. Oh, I said M2 crew, but it's actually E46 uh, coming in right there. Texas plate. That's the one I was like, that color. Is it the. Uh, that color. Miami blue? No. I forgot the name of that blue. blue I think it's what it's oh, Luna Second like Blue. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I don't know where I came up with Miami. Like right that here and that color. The E46. Yeah. Another one here. It's funny, we're like forcing them to go this way. <laughs> yeah. Type R. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I think I, I should have gotten something like this instead of my Bart. Oh, yeah. Because it's probably more it's comfortable nice, and they're worth a lot of money now, too. That's like the bank now. Yup. Oh, Volk Rays. Can't go wrong with Volk Rays. Viper coming through. Yeah, listen to this thing. What is it? <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. That is quite a sound. Sounds like a motorcycle engine. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> if they survive, that's cool. If they survive. Get you a hit that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Really nice. Really cool in that. Oh, right behind us. A couple of Porsches. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean by this when I say a couple of Porsches. Oh, that big old F350 is on its way out. We got these two rolling out. Wow, that sounds good. We're going to get this one going. Yeah, we're pretty much over. We're over. <laughs> we're pretty much done. I can't English. Uh, but this thing's sick. There we go. Got that. Here, headed out. Ooh. Wow. BMWs and a Jaguar. that's gonna be it for today a lot of the cars just left and yeah, we got my 4c you got rick's car right behind that gotta go run some errands as always oh uh, i think on the next video we this time we will have a house update uh, along with uh, maybe some car stuff anyways that's gonna be it i'll talk to you guys later